So, <laughs> this hair is gorgeous. I'm doing this video on my phone because my camera hasn't come yet, but I have this perfect little tripod which holds my phone, has a little bracket for it, so we're just going to make it work today, okay? So, I ordered this from Honey Queen Hair off of AliExpress, and everybody's been talking about, ta-da, 360 frontals. So, it's basically like how to make a wig in 10 steps. Like, So, you have this piece which is going to go around the main part of the cap. One thing I can definitely say about these 360s um, that I really like, they seem to extend further back than most lace frontals. Now, this is a 360 that I ordered from Honey Queen. And let me see if I can find it. This is a frontal that I ordered from another vendor. And you can see the width of the actual frontal like where their hair is located is this space here like that the width on the on the 360 is definitely much bigger let me see if i can slide it up so you can see so this is the 360 this is the regular frontal so at the longest part the frontal is 4 inches back like it should be and this is me honestly about if I, oh, I got to move this up some. This is about five inches back. And this is, yeah, about a little under four and a half. So you can see it's bigger. Um, only thing I don't like is that there's not a reinforced line um, like there is on this frontal. Um, this is the 360. And it seems that there's a really heavy stitch, but I would have preferred to have this reinforced line because it just gives you some extra security when you put the hair in. So... I bought this hair. I don't remember exactly what, I think it was loose wave or loose curly something or I don't know what it was called, but I'll put the link in the bottom of the box. So the 360 all the way around the front measurement wise, because I know a lot of people are wondering this. If I pull it straight across. It's just about 10 inches. I don't know if you can see this. Let me adjust. There you go. You can see that it's just about 10 inches straight across measured like this. Now, probably say a little bit more because if I start right at the zero, it goes to about 11. So I would say this is anywhere from 20 to potentially 22 inches across width wise. So obviously double it, you go around, it would be the whole thing. So, the hair is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is like the pattern I have been looking for forever. And I couldn't find it. And now I have, so I'm very happy. The bundles I got were 16, 18, and 20. So, this is the 16. Let's measure and see. 16, 16. Comes down to 16. Just at the bare minimum. You see, there's kind of some short little pieces, but it's there. This is the 18, and it comes down to 18, right there where my thumb is, 18. And then 20, comes down to the 20, as you can see. They always kind of seem like they it gets thinner towards the ends, but that's how natural hair is too anyway, so it's not like a big block straight through. So, the curls are absolutely beautiful. So, you can see I'm going through right here right now. I got one strand as far as shedding. That's just in the beginning. What I'm going to do is seal these wefts. The weft construction is great. So, I can show you. Very, very neat. I can definitely say I appreciate this. It's very, very neat. The hair had no smell. There were no... um bugs or anything crazy like that thank god because some people you hear horror stories and anybody got time for that so this is the frontal i'm going to be making this into a wig i will try my best to do a tutorial video on this because i am still waiting for my camera to come so that i can demonstrate this for you guys so this is the wig um the lace frontal part of the wig it's a 360 
So this whole 360 thing, it makes me happy. I can definitely tell you that. Like, this definitely makes me happy. I'm trying to show you the inside. So I think this is a good investment. I'm excited to see how this looks um, once I get it tacked onto a cap because I feel like the only thing that might be restrictive with these, which I got to play with it, and I'm going to watch a couple people's videos on YouTube too, but, you know, attaching this to the cap, I'm not going to cut the cap from under this area just because the lace is in the middle and around the sides because it's not, there's not that, that much stretch to it. And I don't want to put that much weight and um, strain on it. So we'll see how it goes. Um, if you liked it, of course, click like, subscribe, thumbs that up, put that thumbs up. And um, yeah, so I will be coming back to you guys later with some info about actually how the hair um, is installed and what it what it goes through so I'm really excited about this thank you thank you thank you honey queen here for first of all not only having this but great deal look at these curls y'all they are just so popping look at this and I haven't tried it um, to wash it and see how it comes back to life but so far so far so good the curl doesn't go all the way to the root but to me personally that's a little unrealistic sometimes so it's fine by me. So I will be back and I will show you guys what happens with it next. Thanks for watching. Bye.